cameras and your droids and your iPads. We'll walk you through the process and give you a word of warning on what not to use on them. Now with 7 First Alert Weather, this is 7 Eyewitness News at 5.30. The shelves are bare. This is a scene we've been seeing a lot of over the past week here in Western New York. Good evening once again. Restocking those shelves in the stores with the supplies and the food is really a challenge right now. It is not that the country is running out of supplies. It's just a matter of getting them delivered to your store and then the stores having the time to restock the shelves because things are selling so quickly. Today, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps was able to see firsthand the shelves being filled up once again at the top supermarket at French and Transit. Employees at Tops Friendly Markets are working hard, from meat to produce and medicine. They're stocking the shelves, trying to keep up with the high demand now. Stores are doing the best they can. I mean, you go into the store and you look. I I've never seen anything like it. On Saturday, I was in at Wegmans at 11 in the morning. The shelves were empty. Certain items are nearly impossible to find. Just take a look at the frozen vegetable aisle. And other items are limited to two per customer. But top shoppers say there's a shopping strategy for times like this. Come in early. Get it over with and go home where it's safe. The rush is on, but suppliers were caught off guard, at least for the short term. Distribution issues, that's the, that, that is the reason for finding the empty shelves. UB School of Management professor Nalan Suresh says there's plenty of food and supplies to spare. It's just a matter of getting it to the retail stores. This level of a pandemic we have not experienced before. Consumers, I don't think, need to panic in terms of availability overall. If some item is not available today, it might be available tomorrow. And there's one item that for some reason is really flying off the shelves at every store. You can't find toilet paper anywhere. I've looked for my daughter for toilet paper. You can't find it. The only industry that seems to have been taken by surprise uh, this, this time around are the toilet paper and the tissues, and I'm sure that's one more lesson we're going to learn. Professor Suresh says loading trucks typically come by overnight. He suggests you do your shopping when fewer people are around. We stopped by at 1030 on a Tuesday. Stay safe, stay home. Now I'm on my way home and that's where I'm staying. In Lancaster, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.